Hey guys, and welcome back to the online learning space. Today we're going to be creating a website using Adobe Muse. But before we even get started to create the website using Adobe Muse, we need to think about and plan our website. So here is a rough sketch of how the website is going to look. We have 1000 pixels in width. All right, I'm going to leave 130 pixels for the header and navigation. And then I'm going to have four content boxes of 475 pixels and 100 pixels for the footer. Now, once you've thought about that, you can then start to import that into Adobe Photoshop as a rough sketch of how you want your website to be. So here we have an example of how the website is going to look. So we've left 130 pixels for the top. We have um, a content box of 475 pixels and so on. So before we get started to create a new Photoshop document, we need to think about the sizing. So if we go file new, we know that the width is 1000. Now we have four lots of these boxes. We have a header and navigation and we have a footer of 100 pixels. So we're just going to do a little bit of a calculation. We're going to go 475 times 4 equals 1900 plus 130 plus 100 will give us 2130. So we know that the total height, which will include all four content pages, is 2130. So they're the dimensions we put into uh, Photoshop. So now we'll just quickly uh, draw a box. We'll fill it with some color and we will just change the height to pixels and then we'll just slowly start to put all of the dimensions in. Okay, and so you should rename each layer accordingly. And finally, our last little box in there will be our footer. Now, it doesn't really matter if this is, you know, not 100% perfect because you can always change it later. And this is just used as a planning tool anyways. Now, the other thing you need to really look at is the color. If you go to Adobe Color and you have a color scheme in mind, you should really get those colors and put them into your Photoshop document so that you know that the colors will work well with each other. So once you're happy with your layout, you then need to start to add content to it. And you should have all your content files already made up in an assets folder, which will have all the images and have text files for all of your you know, uh, textual content, things like that. So we're gonna start with the navigation. Now the use of fonts is very important and try and be consistent with your fonts. Don't use too many fonts because it will just muddle up your actual page. So you will need to add your navigation, which in my other site, I've got home, about, projects and contact. Now that these links won't work, they're just placeholders for the real website that we will make. Now to fill in one of these uh, backgrounds, all I've done is I've imported the files and put it behind here and I've just changed the opacity to about 20%. So here you can see my assets folder which will have all of the pictures labeled and all of the you know the things that I need. So all I'm going to do is just drag it in. I'm going to make sure that kind of fits and make sure that it goes into the right section and just lower the opacity to about 20%. So now I can fill the rest up with uh, text, which will be all of this. And I can also put my picture in. So once the picture's in and the text is in, you're done for that section. And all you have to do is keep repeating until you have completed the whole site. 
So when you finish the whole site, you then have a good starting point for how your website is going to work and it's going to be much easier to import it into Adobe Muse. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you in part two of this tutorial.